In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of combinations as we continue trying to solve our problem of figuring out how many possible burgers can be made. So a combination is the number of ways you can choose a group if the order does not matter. And we have a notation for this, which is this NCR. We have capital C in the middle, and the N and the R here are subscripts, or lower, and um, also lowercase. N is the total number of objects, R is the number that you want in each group. So N is the uh, total number that you're taking from, and then you're making smaller groups um, of size R. So on the Desmos.com scientific calculator, we have a button for NCR, and so we're going to use that um, in this section. The way that that button works is that we enter N comma R in parentheses after we hit the NCR key. So first we're going to check our answer to number four in the previous activity by calculating 9C3 on the Desmos.com scientific calculator. So we found up here um, that the number of ways to make a hamburger with three toppings, if there are nine total toppings to choose from, is 84 ways. So if I go to my Desmos.com scientific calculator, I go to the function menu here, click on that, and then I see the NCR button down in the bottom row. Um, hit that, and then in the parentheses, I'm going to type 9, comma, 3, and I see that I get the answer of 84. So that checks out. So this is NCR, parentheses, 9, comma, 3, equals 84. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the calculator to find the total number of ways that we could order a hamburger with different numbers of topics. So in the first video we found the total number of ways to order a burger with three toppings when there are a total of nine toppings to choose from and we found that to be 84. We could repeat that same process for each number of toppings uh, but to make this a little bit quicker we're going to use the NCR button on our Desmos.com calculator. So we'll start with zero here, and the nice thing about this is I can just uh, change my calculator calculation, and um, that's really easy to give me a new value. So if I do nine, um, choose zero, so if I'm choosing zero toppings, there's only one way to do that. The only way to get zero toppings is to get a plain patty on a bun. Um, that's the only way to do it. If you want one topping, there's going to be nine ways to do that because you have nine toppings to choose from. You're choosing one of those nine toppings, so there are nine ways to do that. And that checks out on my calculator. Uh, for two toppings, I'm going to change this to two, my R to two, and I get 36. So 36 ways for me to choose two out of those nine toppings for my hamburger. Next, we'll do uh, choosing four toppings and we get 126 and choosing five toppings we also get 126 so how many ways are there to make a burger with six toppings 84 ways and so you see that there's going to be some symmetry here uh, I'm going to go ahead and type in the rest of the numbers um, but basically, it's going to be the same numbers that I found over here. And the reason that happens is because something like choosing um, six toppings is the same way as uh, is the same as not choosing three toppings. So there's the same number of ways to choose six toppings as there is to not choose six toppings. So those are both 84. You would think that as number of toppings increases, your number of ways to order is going to increase. Um, but if you think about it a little bit, that doesn't make sense because there's only one way to choose nine toppings, and that's to ask for all nine toppings on the burger. If you're choosing eight toppings, then you're leaving one topping off. And so there are nine ways for you to leave one topping off. Um, so again, you can uh, check those on the calculator yourself, but those are going to be my total number of ways to order each possible number of toppings. And then obviously I can't order more than nine because there are only nine possible choices. So to find how many ways you can order a hamburger, I'm going to add the total number of ways to order 
each number of toppings. So it would be total number of ways to order zero topping, one topping, two toppings, etc. So I'm going to add all these 10 numbers up. Um, so that's going to be 1 plus 9 plus 36. plus 84, plus 126. Now, since this is symmetric, I can just take this sum and multiply it by 2 because um, it's the same five numbers on this side. Or I can just keep adding. That works too, uh, however you want to do it. But when I add all these numbers together on my calculator, I should get a total of 512 ways. So there are 512 ways to order a hamburger, which actually is more than the number of ways that they advertised. They were saying that there were 256 ways, but it's actually twice as many ways as what um, they suggested on their advertisement. So we're going to switch to a different context here. Now we have Janine making a playlist. Uh, the playlist is going to be eight songs. She has 50 songs to choose from, including 15 songs by One Direction. And we are not allowing any song to appear more than once in a playlist. So how many different sets of eight songs are possible? Assume that the order of the songs doesn't matter. So since order doesn't matter, that tells us that it's going to be a combinations problem. So I'm going to highlight this. If order did matter, then we would use our other method of multiplying how many, um, met how many options I have for my first choice, how many options I have for my second choice, um, and then go on through. Uh, if order doesn't matter, then we use combinations. So uh, we have 50 songs to choose from. And we are choosing eight songs, so that means I'm doing NCR 50 comma 8. Uh, I always use the bigger number first. Um, if I don't have the bigger number first, it's going to give me an error message here. Um, so 50, and I'm choosing eight songs. This is a lot of ways to do this. So over 536 million possible different playlists um, that I could make. So I'm going to paste that number in there. Um, you can also remember uh, screenshot your calculator output and put that in your activity if that's helpful to you. And then the last question is how many eight song playlists contain no songs by one direction? So again, we're using a combination. Now we're still making an eight song playlist, but our total number of songs is no longer 50. It's going to be 35 because we're taking out those 15 one direction songs. So it's going to be NCR 35 comma 8, and then I'm going to do that on my calculator, and I see that's still quite a lot of possible playlists, over 23 million, but not as many as when I'm looking at the um, 50 songs that include the One Direction song. So if I have fewer songs to choose from, uh, there's going to be fewer possible playlists.